when this morning's guest first teed up a golf ball, he probably wasn't thinking about kids, but today he does. You'll meet him coming up next on Carolina Peak. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at Carolina Cooling and Plumbing in Surfside Beach, behind Dick's Pawn Shop and below the Water Tower. We're focused on the first tee, Myrtle Beach, and we're visiting with one of its lead instructors, Shelby Smith. Good morning, Shelby. It's very nice to be here. Thanks so much for coming in early on a Tuesday morning. You're probably up early in the morning anyway, aren't Usually, you? Usually, pretty early. Yeah, yeah. Do you get out on the uh, links on a regular basis early in the morning? I'm out on the uh, teaching tee uh, usually by 9 o'clock in the morning. Right. And uh, that uh, keeps us busy through the day. So you'll be Whispering heading up Pines. from here on over to Whispering Pines. Yes. Which is real easy to find. That's the city owned golf course, isn't it? Yes. It's on the uh, former air base, uh, right. 22nd Avenue South in Myrtle Beach. Very easy to get to. Yes. Very easy to get to. I think for some of the folks who may not have been there recently. It's, uh, do you enter over there near uh, is it J. Edwards? Yes, just just to the north side of J. Edwards on right. 22nd Avenue South. And okay. then it winds through to uh, get to the uh, golf course and driving range. Is it out? Is it open seven days a week, Shelby? Yes. It is, really. How often are you out there? We're out there uh, six days a week. <laughs> Take a day off. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, we get a uh, day during the week. Uh, as well, depending upon schedules and how that goes. Sure, sure. See, you're listed as a professional golf trainer. That's yes. a big deal. How long have you been in golf training? Well, I've been uh, teaching golf full time for the past 20 years. Mm. Uh, 10 years in Atlanta before moving here, and uh, past 10 years uh, here in Myrtle Beach, mm -hmm. and two years at uh, Whispering Pines. This is my second year with the city contract. That's right. Before that, I was in Surfside Beach at Harbor Light Golf Center. Right. Teaching golf. Very close to here. Yes. Carolina Cooling and Plumbing. That's yes. wonderful. So yeah. you know Just the Surfside Beach. A mile Beach. away. Yeah, very close at hand. That's tremendous. And are you originally from the Carolinas or down in Georgia? Originally from the Washington, D.C. area. Okay. And uh, grew up in uh, Washington and uh, I uh, went to school there, uh, started playing golf in the ninth grade there. Really? And can relate that easily to the children I'm working with uh, here in the first tee. Sure. And uh, went to a University of Maryland in the uh, area right there where I grew up. Right. Won a golf scholarship there and been interested in uh, golf ever since. And uh, moved here from Atlanta. Right, so, right. Moved south. I spent 10 years in Richmond, Virginia and then another 10 years in Atlanta, and then we've been here 11 years. This is our 11th year here. Son of a gun. What, now when you played there at the University of Maryland, what was that like competing during college? Well, it was uh, a real thrill for me. I played uh, freshman golf there right. on, the, uh, on the team, and then uh, went into the Navy and played oh, uh, some golf, tournament golf in the Navy, and spent four years in the Navy, right. and uh, had a great experience there. Oh, yeah. How exciting. Well, you know, when you think about getting out there, and obviously, for as a as a trainer, as an instructor, you're you're stationary a lot of the. I mean, you're in a same location instructing, or do you actually instruct through all 18 holes? No, usually uh, we are at our uh, training center, right, at Whispering Pines. So we have a teaching tee there. We have training aids. We have uh, excellent video equipment, electronic launch monitors, uh, all the sophisticated things to let golfers improve their golf swing. Great. And that's what we were really uh, concentrating on at Whispering Pines and at our Dyna Swing Fit Golf School. Great. If a viewer needs to get off to work now or get family off to school, what's the best way they could learn about you and uh, your instructing there? And of course, we want to talk more about the first tee. Is there a good way to, uh, do you have a website or a phone yes. number? Yes, the best thing definitely is to go to our website, uh, www.dynaswingfit.com. Dyna Swing Fit, absolutely. Right. Much of what you do right there. Yeah. We yeah. fit fundamentals into golfers' swings, so we have a very, very excellent capability of doing that. And you've got someone uh, in partnership with you or, or yes, someone my, who instructs? My teaching partner is uh, Russ Brown. Okay. And uh, the two of us are at Whispering Pines. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Well, of course, the first tee uh, 
Myrtle Beach, something that a lot of <coughs> viewers may not be familiar with. And obviously, as you know, most of our viewers are in the PD in southeastern North Carolina, but a lot of viewers are right here in Horry County. What is the first T, Myrtle Beach, Shelby? Well, the first T is a youth development program that works with uh, children ages 7 to 17, 18 actually mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we teach uh, golf, but we also teach life skills. Right. So we combine the two. And uh, this is very much a character uh, building program. Mm -hmm. And it's been just a terrific opportunity for me uh, the past three years working with uh, the first tee here in Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. We have uh, in total uh, 476 uh, uh, children in the program. Is that right? And Just here at the here first tee Myrtle Beach? Right, here in Myrtle 476, Beach. 476, that's tremendous. And we have uh, this spring we're at 157 kids in the program. Son of a gun, 476 uh, children, and that's ages 7 to 18. 7 to 18, right. That is fantastic. Nationally, there are uh, 202 chapters uh, with five international chapters in that number. Mm -hmm. And uh, in total, 2.2 million children no. have been uh, in this first T program. Yeah, Son of impacted a gun. by the program. What, to, what first prompted the founding of the program, Shelby? Do you know much about its founding? Yes, it was uh, founded in uh, 1997, okay. and originally it was founded for uh, uh, low income and, and people that could not afford um, to really enjoy the game of golf, and it was an a inner city initiative. Mm -hmm. And it was um, very popular mm -hmm. and expanded rapidly. And it expanded in such a way that it became inclusive of all children in the area. So uh, at present, it's open to uh, everyone. And so it's all socioeconomic zero. ranges, all right. uh, ethnic backgrounds, everything. Right. Sure. And the values that uh, the game of golf um, has, the First Tee program has incorporated these values, these life values, right. through the game of golf. So that's where um, it's really been an exciting uh, approach to teach the kids these values and let them learn golf as well. We, we take what is called a seamless approach, mm -hmm. where they're not really, it, it's a subtle approach, but it's, it's right on target in terms of uh, uh, getting these life enhancing uh, values to mm -hmm. the kids. So clearly the distinction between other golf programs are tying in the life, uh, the life skill the life side, uh, or would that be the biggest distinction between Absolutely. other golf programs? Absolutely. At least 50% of the time is directed towards character development mm -hmm. and these, uh, these values. When, uh, you know, I wrote down a few of these uh, yeah, items sure. here, you know, we teach a very positive can-do uh, approach, mm -hmm. and that's very good in the golf, uh, the game of golf. Uh, mm -hmm. The first tee has nine core values that are um, through all the levels of the program okay. taught to the, uh, the children. Share uh, with us a couple of them at least, yeah. Confidence. Confidence. Just like you know, in golf. Uh, right. Courtesy. Good. Respect. Uh, respect for the game, respect for themselves, respect for, for others. The game of golf really provides that kind of uh, opportunity, mm -hmm. responsibility. Mm -hmm. Honesty, integrity, all these values, uh, sportsmanship, mm -hmm. perseverance, uh, judgment. Wow, I think I'm running out of all ink of those here. Yes, sportsmanship. What they call the nine right. core values. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honesty, integrity, responsibility, respect, courtesy, confidence is very important. So oftentimes that's one thing that a lot of children and adults will lack. Right. And they really should feel more confident where they are. Right. And sportsmanship is uh, sportsmanship mm -hmm. key. Mm -hmm. Very definitely. Well, you know, as you think through it, so you have aspects, and this is you've got a video component as well, or is it all just you and the other volunteers uh, associated well, with the program throughout the city? 
At all of our locations, we have a group of volunteers, mm -hmm. uh, and that can range anywhere from uh, three to uh, six. I think at Whispering Pines, we have the most volunteers. We have six, Good. and we have the largest group there. We have 26 children. Is that right? In, in the birdie program. Mm. So uh, we work with the, the kids in the uh, uh, teaching of the golf skills Good. and in a uh, structured way in these uh, life skills development. Right. So all the coaches are involved. We break down into different uh, groups and different stations. Uh, sometimes we're on a driving range, sometimes we're on a putting green, could be on a practice green and a sand bunker. You know, it depends on, you know, what we're, uh, what we're doing with the kids. How exciting, Shelby. For you, you said the birdie program. Are there different levels of the first team program? Yes. It starts out, the uh, introductory level is the target program. Okay. And that's what uh, these are right here. So oh, yeah, we please. I'm working with uh, second and third graders. We bring them into an easy to learn concept. Hold that up. We use a oh, uh, sorry, yeah. a bigger ball than a golf ball. Right, sure. A friendlier, softer ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hit this ball with a much bigger club. Okay. So it becomes very yeah. easy right away to oh, yeah. uh, get excited about the game of golf. And, and you really, uh, you can see that excitement early on. Yes, very, very definitely. And we oh, also cool. have uh, in putting, we have just a simple technique, a little broom. Yeah, on the putter so that the sweeping stroke of the putter gives them the idea of stroking the ball. So we have some tools like that. And then we have yeah. the regular uh, golf instruction, um, adult and junior uh, golf clubs, training That's great. Grips, and, different, of course, the bigger club things. you've got there, it's got a little sweeper behind that. Oh, excuse me. Yes, yeah, that's, this a, one. that's the bigger one. Yes, yes. So we instruct the target is the middle of the club hitting the ball. We meet the ball. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So tremendous. they're able to really get the concept of square club face, loft of the club, the different things that are in the game, mm -hmm. uh, ball striking. What do you find is the, uh, the aspect, let's say in the target group, that really lights up the, uh, the crowd the most? The, the, in your instance, 26 uh, folks in the birdie program, I think you said, but let's, the target was the earlier one. Right. The younger kids, what seems to really perk up their attention the most, Shelby, is just being out there with you. Many of the children haven't been out even on a golf course oftentimes, but to be out there and then they think about some of their childhood heroes, some of the folks that they've been following, the different athletes, I mean particularly golfers here. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say the biggest thing for the uh, smaller kids is just the, the fun of uh, hitting the golf ball Yeah, and uh, being outdoors and uh, enjoying getting the golf ball in, into the hole, the objective right. of the game of golf. And uh, we start them out indoors as well. I did the uh, Boys and Girls Club um, after school program right. in, the, in a gym environment. The one so there we started on the there. former Air Force Base. Yes, right yeah. there, uh, the Air Base. And then uh, we did some inside and then we did it outside as well. So it's a very flexible program using this kind of system. Mm -hmm. Of course, when we're hitting a live golf ball, we're outdoors and need need more space right, so right. that works out real well especially at the uh, whispering pines and our other affiliate sites